It's like five something in the morning. Feeling pretty good. Sleep felt kind of strange too, so I don't know how that's going to transform into today, but um, I'm going to make some breakfast real quick, some coffee, pack up, and then uh, hit the road. All right, so this is what will be on me. My hydration pack with a spare tube, two CO2 canisters. This is a raincoat that like folds up into a little ball and I can put that in the back of my uh, jersey. I'm trying to save space on the bike so I'm gonna carry all this. This is two or four hours worth of food. So I've got two bars, uh, just some energy blocks, all of my goos, and these two things each. Two of these are going in these. In here, I'll have like a battery pack and some cables for either like the GoPro or my phone. Um, and then my phone will slide into this little pocket here. The Wahoo for GPS will go there. And then this is like all the other food that I need. So yeah, should be good. And then all of my tools, the lead out, uh, saddlebag, the lead out mini frame bag, and the lead out mini bar bag. This is the bike. We'll see how it goes. Let's go to breakfast. <laughs> of my sleep needed achieved. I got a 73% recovery. And to date, this is the best like recovery I've ever had going into a long race day. For the chia seeds, obviously you gotta have some granola. A little bit of brown sugar. All right. This is, this is it, this is a breakfast. I got some toast, my porridge. That's really hot. And the eggs. Don't go side sit. Give me a high five. Can I have a high five? Oh, thanks. You wanna go outside? Go outside? Come on. We're gonna bring a load of goodies down to the car, Leo. There you go. Wait. Wait. All right, come on. On to this side. Leo, what'd you find? Did you find a ball? And now you're gonna take it? You little thief. Can you go hide it in your toy bin? And go side? All right. Let me undo you. All right, there you go. Is that yours? Is this your new ball? Of course the goal in a race where you're racing other people is to win or to place high, but you should also strive to ride better than you have previously. If you're doing that, then you're succeeding. Well, this has been a very, very, very abrupt way to make me angry about the day. Um, and it's ultimately, I mean, it's my fault. There's no, there's no way else to put it. Um, I could have sworn that the event started at nine. And I, I didn't double check that last night. I just, I have it in my head. 
That's what I thought it was. I forgot to check it. It started at eight. There's no, there's no point in rushing. Everybody's gone. I mean, I already didn't have the intent of riding and trying to like keep up or beat people. Like I was going to if the pack was like riding at what I wanted to ride at, but I'm very much so riding my own race today. So I have no reason to rush this. Am I angry? Very. Out of all the all the prepping I did last night, going to bed early, making sure everything was solid and good to go. My stupid self didn't make sure that I uh, knew what time to get there. I'm trying to think on the bright side of things. And that's so that's that's the first thing. So I got I got to get myself out of my head, right? I got to get out of the out of the the anger that I that I pulled stupid. We're gonna go have fun. We're gonna go ride bikes. We're gonna go see this beautiful country. We're gonna hurt on the climbs. We're gonna love on the downhills and get dirty. It's gonna be a good day. All right, here we go. We're heading off. Used to a good day. Good vibes only. Yes, I screwed up, but it is what it is. So, let's go. All right, well, first half hour is down. It's feeling good. It's definitely wet. I'm covered in some mud already. It's pretty. So, loving life. All right, so, problem number one. My shifting is like really out of whack right now. So, I've been trying to do little adjustments on the way. Ain't working. My derailleur here in these easy gears keeps just like bumping. And uh, it's just, it will like, it like skips over whenever I'm trying something. So I'm going to test a theory that my B screw is just a hair too low. I don't know. And then if this doesn't fix it, well then, or if it gets worse, then I know to come back and change it. Also, everything is getting super dirty. But I love it. That's why we're here, right? That's why, that's why we ride gravel. All in all, though, a really fun day. Uh, so that's good. been super fun the dirt's been fun there's some good cave sections oh just loving life this feels like 
just another day's ride. Luckily I didn't have the knobby tires on here. Alright, we are about an hour in. Uh, gone about 16 and a half miles or so. So, a little under pace. I was trying to do 17, but we'll see how it goes. I'm trying not to kill it. it. Really is a big deal. Been on road for a minute, but uh, yeah, other than that, good vibes. So, just gonna keep going. All right, we are 24 miles in. Uh, the GoPro battery died, so I stopped to replace it. Looks like I've got a little bit of a downhill and then a pretty steep climb for a little bit, one of the short ones, and then flat for a little bit. So anyway, vibes are good. Bike is doing good. The weird thing I did to the beast here seems to be working. I'm wondering if it's just like all the dirt and stuff kind of screws with it. And it kind of skips over anyway i mean so far so good i really just can't power down on the big gear um so it appears that it just it does the best when i power down when it's got a lot of room to spread around the cassette but other than that the bike's doing very well loving it it, it feels fast um so far so good the fuel feels good uh yeah so vibes are great i am dirty uh but it looks like I'm out of where it rained because right now this is all just dry, dusty dirt uh, and it's not supposed to rain for the rest of the day. I do have a rain jacket with me in case, but I'm hoping that because it's drying out and where we are that I won't have to hit the wet stuff until the end when we go back into where we started. Other than that, we're doing good. So. Well, that was fun. I didn't get it on camera because, you know, some people are weird about it, but ended up running into two guys that were just uh, taking a break. So I rode with them for a little bit and then looked back and they were kind of gone. So that was fun. Good little conversation. Social benefits that I don't have right now. Good story though. When, when are you back on the, on the bike? What did you say, how long? End of the month, that's it. I was operated on about two weeks ago. I thought I had a lot of bags and I rolled up my hand. I was like, dude, what are you camping out here? Pounds of bags. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready for it.
You're happy. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you finish this hundred one way or another. Yeah. Be like, hey, where's that one guy? I think he's in a tent at like mile yeah. sixty. He's sleeping for I a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think it, the street is Redwood. Okay. It's it's you, we'll turn left. It's it's like right there. So if you want to go, but like don't, I just let you know we are stopping if you want to get some more water. Right. Car back. Yeah, I pulled in at like... You can just get this and share it. Yeah. I don't know if that was that enough. I, I, I don't know. That's a question. We can try it. We can try it. Yeah. I'll buy it and then, okay. Uh, if I need more, I'll just buy more. We are 60 miles in, and it's hot. I'm sweaty. Started to feel some cramps, like the like the tree cramp, like you know. Um, and luckily, I felt it kind of like road a little easy because of it but man we're on the downward slope of it like this is definitely the hardest part because we're up it's like dead beaten sun and it's like just these rollers so we're on road right now we've got roughly four more miles of gravel with those roller hills and we're back up, we're on road that's progressively going down. And then at mile E68 or so, uh, it's gravel downhill straight to the riverbed, which is like the Katy Trail. And then really all we have to worry about is a pretty chunky climb uh, at mile 85. Um, once we get over that, then it's downhill and then it's flat to the finish. So. Oh, wow. My hair probably looks mega crazy right now. Man, all in all, it's been a really cool race. Uh, you know, catching up to people. I decided to change out my, like, plan. Which, feeling it now, there's no way, no way I would have been able to do what I plan on doing. With the heat, man, like, thankfully there was an aid station. The only downer was, I got about a bottle full of Gatorade, drank that. There was no water, so I just put some ice in my uh, hydration pack and hoped for the best. Morale is pretty high because there's, you know, someone I'm with, uh, and I guess it's like I'm less I'm less afraid if I crash or something happens that like I'll be all alone. This place is just a home away from home. Feeling really good. Vibes are high. I could probably cramp in the next 20 minutes though. We'll see. Uh, lake stuff is a little jellyish, but we're gonna get going. Take it easy. I think the easiest time is ahead of us. So. So I flat it out, then I didn't get it on camera. The leg hasn't like completely cramped up yet. At mile 85, we have a stupid climb. No, it's basically downhill. <sighs> it's this point where I wonder why I do this to myself. Anyway, you want to say something? <laughs> Tired. Tired. About to set off. I'm trying to down these energy shoes. They got like caffeine and stuff. But uh, see how it goes. 
We almost did every climb. Unfortunately, a cramp caught me halfway up the steep bit. And I thought I had it, but I tried to catch the cramp before it started, so. Well, we did it. Um, crazy day. So, basic recap. First 33 miles are great. Great weather. Exactly what I wanted. Caught up to a couple of guys. That's when things started to change. The sun came out. The clouds went away. You know, I didn't really achieve the speeds that I wanted, but riding with people is always way better. I had one flat. Uh, nothing else. Never cramped. Actually, I just cramped in the car, and it was probably the worst it's ever been because I had to like get out, stop on the side of the road, which is where I am right now. Uh, and uh, but I'm headed home. I've got like an hour and a half drive left. Um, so didn't come in last, even though I started 37 minutes late. Um, so yeah, excited to see the GoPro footage. I might do like more breakdowns, but anyway. I'm really zoned out, so I probably shouldn't talk. I'm just gonna drive, head home, get some food. But, catch you later. Peace.